this video is about the screen. You're looking at me now over the internet through a screen. The screen has certain boundaries, certain limitations that we have to be aware of. One of those limitations is the top, the bottom and the sides. When you push a pen off the edge of your real desk it falls to the floor. But if I push my hand off the edge of this particular desk top, it ceases to exist. These four boundaries, despite the size of the internet, despite its kind of enormousness, are the window through which we can see it from. It doesn't matter how big the internet is, our access point, our window, the desktop, is only ever going to be this by this. The other thing about the screen is how it manipulates space. When you stack things up on your desktop, if you have a pile of books, you put them one on top of the other and you get height, depth. Even though I may be looking at a book like this, if I go like this, it becomes a simple trick of perspective. It doesn't matter what I'm doing inside the screen, it doesn't matter how many windows you have open, even though they appear to be layered, there's no depth. It is completely two-dimensional. What this means is that space is getting crushed into absolute nothingness, but at the same time becoming infinite. The, th the third dimension, or the idea of it, is only limited by the hardware. You can have as many screens, as many documents, as many books open on your desktop as you like, and it is still only, you know, this thick. This is important because when I talk about mediatization, what the screen does to how we perceive the real world becomes central.